Ipo, Ola Aloha, Chao, Saluni, Hau, Namaste, Ohayu, Yagamasma, Zdras, Viche, Pridi, Bunda, Jindubri, Siesto, Hello, Sinchao, Yebosio, Tere, and also um, Salam Alaikum, Saskriakal, Marhaban, Merhaba. Welcome, my name is Runel. You've seen the title. Say so there's a new eyeshadow in town. £29 is the cost from OPV, uh, which is based in the UK. One of the reasons why I decided to buy it, and I also follow them on Instagram and so on. Um, and I also wanted a bright eye, eyeshadow palette because I don't have one uh, where you know you've got so many bright different shades. And I decided to go for it to see what it's like. So um, it does say here that this palette is bursting with uh, with color. Every shade is designed to blend well and combined with the other shades for dazzling array of uh, unique looks featuring 11 highly pigmented matte and eight beautiful shimmer and one metallic shade. Um, ingredients, the full list, have a look through uh, at the very beginning of the video and you can freeze it and have a look through there. The first things are whether are mica, chalk and also uh, kaolin, uh, clay and so on. So those are the first ingredients but there are more, have a look through. It also has titanium dioxide so if you've got an issue with that then just be aware that that may be contained in there. It is cruelty free, but it doesn't say that it is vegan. Uh, shelf life is of 36 months. So, is it worth spending your £29 on or uh, is it worth leaving alone? Let's go find out. But before you do that, wig link is in the description bar. It is brand new, first time I'm wearing it. All I can say about it is it's meant to be an equal where you can put it on either side. I would stick to the middle parting because of the fact that the lace has got the hair sewn in to the very edge, which is not particularly nice, which means that the lace is actually quite thick and doesn't it just blend in you know, nicely onto your scalp. So because of that reason, uh, you're better off doing the middle parting rather than sideways because otherwise it's a bit more obvious. But other than that, is super super easy to put it together small hair, uh, head friendly because i've got a tiny head and that's that so let's get into the video right so hopefully you'll be able to see the color true color shades as they are on my eyes you may not be able to see them properly on the palette but that's because to do with the lens that i've got here that is a bit too bright and i've turned off all the other light except the ring light and it's the lowest the, the low that you can get um i need to change basically my uh lens um to allow in more light so therefore lower my aperture as well and that should be able to show better but that's an investment and that's more money uh, uh that will come along at some point but there should be in footage uh close footage of the actual palette itself at the beginning of the video so you can refer to that if you want to see what the true colors are, are like as well um okay so the first shade i'm going to go for is this one here and that's illusion and i have no idea how pigmented it is and i'm just tapping it in i've tapped it twice this one, you do need a bit more effort as you're tapping it in. Uh, probably need to tap it in about three or four times before you can get enough color payoff. And that's what's on the brush. There's a bit of fallout. And I'm just going to, ooh. And on my lids is just a, a concealer that I've got, which is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And I've got that on my eyelids and then I just uh, use a brush that I've used for foundation. So I didn't add any extra powder on it. Just tapped it over to seal it all in. Um, and this is the colour. So there is a bit of colour there and it's quite, uh, there's a bit of pigment. But it, you have to build it up. I can, I can see. Or you have to try a bit harder. Don't go mad with swelling the brush inside the palette. Because I think then you'll end up wasting a lot of product. So if you're tapping it in. You might need to go back a few times to just build on the color so that's the first one and now if i add more you can see clearly there's a lot more pigment so i'm just putting that all over my uh, upper crease line and it blends in nice and easy actually so this is illusion so i had to go back in dip in about three times um, it isn't as dark as I initially thought. However, the color is buildable. So I don't have a problem with that. But it's just be mindful of that, that illusion. You need to, need to build it up. 
it blends in really really easy the brush that i've got is just a really fluffy blending brush and this one's from uh, makeup addiction uh tapered blender brush um and these are actually really good brushes for the price that they are they're soft and fluffy enough um, but they're dense enough also to be able to carry enough product and that's what i have so far so the next shade i'm going to try and change a brush to one that's slightly smaller um and that i think we'll go for this one this is the morphe e28 brush and i think the next shade is going to be a bit a lot brighter and that's going to be this one here which is a spectrum and i'm just going to just take that slightly lower oh this one that's got a, this one i've just dabbed it twice it's a bit softer than the other one and this is the amount of pigment on the brush itself not a lot of fallout either just two taps and this is what i've got let's see how much actually transfers to the eyes so starting oh yeah this one is far more pigmented this is spectrum easily buildable it took about another three goes for me to go in dipping in um, but uh, you can see it is nice and bright so i'm going to move on to the next shade the next one i'm using the morphe m139 brush which is slightly pointed and i'm going to concentrate that on the in the socket of my my eye on the outer edge of my eye and i'm going to go to a um another shade which is deeper than the other ones and it is storm and this is storm hopefully it will show that's storm show it at that angle and let's see how much color payoff because that one did stand out to me and dipping it in you have to swirl the breath the brush a little bit but just a little bit don't go nuts otherwise you'll be wasting your product and i'm watching the monitor here to see to make sure that i see the colors so that's why sorry if i'm not looking in there um so that's that and then just start it on the inner oh yeah oh just show you how pigmented this is i'm just going to tap it and then see that this is this one so far is the most pigmented out of the lot and i'm just going to concentrate that on the outer corner of my eye and build it up and i'm going to move on to the shimmers now and the first shimmer is fantasy which is the blue shade here which has got specks in there as well i'm going to try it with my finger unfortunately these nails are too long i'm not going to get them done and chopped down but they're too long they need to be done clearly uh, so i'm trying not to put my jab my finger in there uh, i'm just gonna rub it with my thumb this one definitely needs more it doesn't pick up it's easily let's just try and apply it on the eye and see yeah it's not so fantasy doesn't seem to work quite well with because it's almost like a mat but it's got shimmers in there so you can see hopefully you can see the shimmers but i think fantasy needs to be applied with a wet brush yeah it's there is a bit of a difference but it's still not quite what i would be happy with so definitely fancy is more work so you have to take your time building it up nice and put uh, it's not too bad now so you just have to build on it it's a bit more effort than the others and i'm just going to apply that all over my lid <laughs> Um, what I did was I'm running out of time I need to go out so I quickly went off camera and I've put um, because I had foundation on before which was the Huda Beauty full filter in the color 510R um, and I just put uh, the Elego um, concealer to highlight underneath my eyes and this one is in a toffee underneath my eyes and then I've set it with this powder from Beauty Bakery love this powder so whilst I'm doing the rest of my face um sort of just sort of baking at the moment okay so i've done that 
the part of the reason for that also is that there's a bit of fallout with regards to the fantasy uh the glitter does fall out there it's not extreme but where you're playing with glitter you're going to have fallout so you might think about that when you're applying your makeup to try and do your eyes before you do the base um um you know afterwards otherwise you're gonna have fallout i managed to wipe it off it wasn't a problem so it's not that bad okay so when we're going to move on to the middle part i want to use a purple and the purple i'm going to use is this one which is a uh, um satin and i'm just looking at to make sure i point it out but that's that's it satin um and i'm just going to use actually try and use my finger because i only want it in the middle um of my eyelid i don't want it anywhere else and it looks as if it's a fairly soft one that there'll be quite a bit i'll transfer onto the finger yeah way better than um than fantasy i'm just going to concentrate that on the center of my eye like so just give it a tinge of purple okay so i'm just going to go back in now go back to storm that one storm and i'm just going to tap it very gently and then just go back to the, on the outer edges, being very careful to sort of blend things in. Not touching the lines here. Using the same brush, Morphe M139, I'm just now going to gently, without adding any product, gently just try and blend this. I actually don't want to cut crease. So I'm just going to blend that very, very gently that a bit more so i'm going back into storm again i'm just going to apply that uh, along the bottom of my eyes and you can clearly see there's quite a lot of color pigment going back in with another shade i'm going to go for this a blue here a, blue, a bluish purpley color here and this one is a frosty and i'm just going to concentrate that i'm using a tiny brush this is a morphe brush but it's one of the pointed ones uh, there is a name for it but you can find any brush that you like and i'm just going to dab that in oh frosty um just see how much there's not much fallout and i'm literally going to apply a frosty along the waterline only finally going back in as you can see i've built the color it does take a, a, a bit of time to build it up but i'm going back in with the morphe m139 uh, because it's, it's pointed and just where the actual shape uh, i'm sorry the color frosty meets it with a storm i'm just going to gently just try and blend that in so i don't have that kind of clear line of one color and then another color so just blending the two in gently nice and easy and already i can see the difference and just do that and once I've done that, what I'm going to do is finish off the rest of my face and then give you my thoughts about what I think about the palette. So do mascara, the whole shebang eyeliner. Um, I will put another color in there and on the inner tear ducts. And that's going to be Utopia, which is this one. And you'll be able to see the finished look. So see you in a bit. Alrighty, this is me all done. Um, right, so quickly, what do I think about this palette? It has many more positives than it has negatives. With regards to negatives, let's just get them out of the way. I think what it is, is I'm so used to kind of using the ABH and stuff like that, and um, um, and uh, not Natasha Denona, the, um, uh, Violet Voss, um, that I've kind of used to that kind of standard. So when another palette comes along where I might, it might need a little bit more loving, a bit more work, then I notice a difference. But it, there isn't anything in this palette here that I would personally, in my opinion, turn around and say, absolutely not, that one doesn't work, waste of time. However, some of the shades need a bit more work, a bit not necessarily blending, but a, a bit more build up in order to get the intensity of the color that you want. Uh, when it comes to um, the swatches, some swatch a lot better than others. There seems to be a kind of an inconsistency with the formula in that one of the shades, the yellow shade, uh, which is called, and I haven't got it open here, which is called uh, Atlantis. It is 
batter soft. I mean, it swatched beautifully and it reminded me of the standard of, of, uh, uh, of the ABH palette. And so it may be because of the color that it is that it needs to be done blended differently. I don't know I, what I'm talking about doing creation. I don't know, I might be talking rubbish, but I can tell you that it actually felt different from the others when it came to swatching. It was super smooth, butter soft, and it was lovely. The others, some needed a bit more work to go back into. One of the worst one was actually the darkest shade on the whole palette here, which is this one on the corner, uh, which is like a dark grayish, uh, kind of like a, a touch of green in there. Um, and it's not black, black at all. And even after I went in there about three times, I still needed, it still was patchy. If you refer back to the beginning of the video, you'll see what I mean. Um, so we needed a bit more work. Uh, I didn't really get to use Flame, which is uh, that one here, um, but it seemed to be okay. Uh, they are really, really pigmented. All of them are pigmented. You just need to, some of them, build them up a bit more. The pinks and the reds actually are the most pigmented and you can clearly see that because of uh, how I did uh, when I did my eyes. Some of the colors were kind of full on, so as soon as you put it, put it on your eyes, you could see the pigmentation, others you needed to build up. So that actually goes across the whole palette, but there isn't one color in that you can turn around and say, no, 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 no. So it's not the it's not the most expensive palette out there. And I definitely give them a plus because they are, uh, they are a UK based company and I'm about supporting UK based companies as well. Nothing against other companies, but as a YouTuber, being able to get the products quickly without sitting for ages, waiting for it to come from abroad, and then you're what well, you know you're waiting three weeks or two months later, struggling to get this the stuff is a really really annoying and and unless you're actually in a in a kind of like YouTube uh, kind of business, you wouldn't necessarily know what I'm talking about or understand um, just how frustrating it is to have to sit there and everyone else reviewing stuff that you actually look at and think, oh, I'd like to actually get hold of that, but you can't get hold of it because it's got to be a Sephora, a Sephora first before you can get around eventually to having it here, even though the company has got uh, another company here, but I digress. That was just a quick moan. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so I do support UK based companies and delivery was super, super cheap and uh, cheap and very, very fast. So thank you very much, OPV. I did pay for it myself, so the link is in the description bar. By the way, some of the links are affiliated, which means that if you buy by the link, then I will make a small percentage of money. Uh, yours truly buys all of her palettes, so I need to start making a bit of a dosh, all right? But if you don't want to do that, go elsewhere. It's not a problem. Thank you very much for watching uh, my video. I hope that you appreciate it. Um, I hope that you appreciate it, all right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not exactly what I was meant to say I appreciate I was meant to say I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and uh, thank you and I will speak to everyone